A host of experienced talent on offense and defense returns to San Diego State for Brady Hoke's second season in his return to the Mesa. Hi, I'm Bridget Howard here in the Mountain West Network studio with what you need to know as we count down to kickoff with the San Diego State Aztecs. The Aztecs are once again deep at running back this season, headlined by Greg and Chance Bell. Greg Bell is coming off a season in which he rushed for 637 yards and six touchdowns, while Chance Bell ran for 237 yards and three touchdowns. It's a powerful one-two punch in the backfield that is sure to keep opponents on their heels. His vision is probably the most impressive. You know, his way to be able to see tackle to tackle and to find the hole and to be able to make one cut and make a guy miss is the most impressive part. Uh, his ability to accelerate out of the hole, uh, and then he's physical enough. And uh, that, you know, a guy's going to try and uh, uh, single tackle him, it's going to be hard. And uh, he can run through those things. So he brings us an awful lot that way. At 6'6", 255 pounds, Daniel Bellinger is a big physical tight end who is very effective in the passing game, who has made 36 catches over the last two seasons, including three touchdowns. He is the latest in a long line of great tight ends at San Diego State who averaged 9.7 yards per catch in 2020, ranking second on the Aztecs in receptions and yards. Tremendous pride. You know, there's Kahala wearing, Parker Houston. These guys are guys I looked up to when I first came in. You know, I have big shoes to fill, obviously, but these guys, you know, they come in, they, they taught me the ways around the Aztec program and how to be mentally tough and how to go out there. And, and so just being out there and being a tight end in this program, you know, it brings tremendous pride. He really is a guy as a leader, blocking on the line of scrimmage, releasing off the line of scrimmage, uh, smart guy, uh, run after catch is where I think he'll make a big difference uh, for us. Uh, really excited about where he's at. Caden McDonald returns as one of the premier pass rushers in the Mountain West. The all-conference linebacker made 10 tackles for loss, including four and a half sacks and forced 10 quarterback hurries in 2020, becoming just the sixth Aztec linebacker to make an all-Mountain West first team. McDonald will anchor an Aztec defensive front that was one of the best in the nation a year ago. There's not a better guy because of his work ethic. You know, how he goes to work every day, how he mentally prepares himself to go against his, uh, an opponent. And uh, he, he just is one of those guys who loves it, sleeps it, eats it. The Mike and the Aztec are, are probably the most important two on the defense. A lot of dudes take up a lot of blocks, so they come free a lot of the time. So it's one-on-one -on -one for them to make the play, like the play is set up for them to make the play. And they're on block a lot of the time. And Kata McDonald definitely is a sure tackler and someone who makes the play almost all the time. San Diego State opens up with four non-conference games, including two against Pac-12 opponents. First, Arizona on September 11th, followed by Utah the following weekend. The Aztecs have enjoyed a great deal of success against the Pac-12 in recent years, winning five of the last six games since 2016. It's always hype around the Pac-12 opponents. You know, it's exciting to play them because they don't understand that we got a chip on our shoulder and we're going to come into a game with an edge every single game. And so it's just it's exciting to finally just show them what we're about. They think we're just going to lay down for them, and that's not the case. Um, we actually get up more for those type of games and um, are like a lot more hype for those games because uh, it's a bigger school and we feel like we'll get more recognition if we ball out in those type of games. This team and, and the group of guys, and I think, you know, because of how uh, this program, uh, what's been over the last 10, 11 years, it's one that is ready to go fight and go play and, and go win football games. I think the Aztecs are a team with a chip on their shoulder heading into 2021 because they were picked to finish third in the West Division of the Mountain West. They lost close games last year of Nevada and San Jose State. They want to avenge those losses. And their front seven could be among the most productive units in all of college football. I'm also excited to watch the growth of the quarterback, specifically Lucas Johnson, who's had a full offseason. And when he was healthy last year, he was a difference maker with both his legs and his arms. This is a very proud group. They've won tons of games in the Mountain West. I believe they have the pieces in place to contend for a Mountain West title in 2021, should they stay healthy.
San Diego State opens up the 2021 season on Saturday, September 4th against New Mexico State. From the Mountain West Network Studio, I'm Bridget Howard.